In that video clip we just saw, you watched my Sony ZV-1 smash against a rock. That particular repair cost me, ouch. But the worst thing is, it could all have been prevented. I didn't set up the tripod properly, nor in fact was the tripod really suitable for the purpose I was using it. That's why now I've got one of these, a KNF concept tripod. So in the video, I'm going to be talking about the tripod and I'm also here at Bear Down Tour to take some landscape photographs. Welcome to Dartmoor. Normally when I talk about gear in my videos, I always start off by taking a landscape photograph first. But this evening, the sun has gone behind a whopping great big black cloud. Now there is a gap there, it's going to come back out, going to get five minutes of action I reckon. That's when I'll be shooting the landscape photographs. So to start off with, I'm going to talk about the tripod. My new tripod is this KF Concept KF-SA255C1. Now if you don't think you're going to remember that, I've put a link for it in the video description below. Now I will say the kind folks at KNF did give me this tripod to feature in this video, but they have not asked me to say anything. So I can say good things, bad things. Any of the thoughts I do share in this video will be my own. They have, however, given me a time limited discount code. So if you want to pick up one of these tripods and save yourself a few quid, there's a link in the video description below. Let me talk you through the basics of the tripod. It is a carbon fiber tripod, so it's sturdy and pretty lightweight. It comes with these twist legs. I quite like these because they're quick and easy to deploy. So you've got one, two, three, four sections. It was up like that. Also, handy little feature, possibly not one that I'd use, but if you unscrew this, it becomes a monopod or even a walking stick you can put on the, the ball head that comes with it on top of there as well, or just screw that back up. The angle of the legs are also adjustable. So this is quite handy for me because sometimes when I'm up in Dartmoor, it can get a little windy and I quite like to have uh, the center of gravity a bit lower down and a bit more sturdy by having the legs quite far out. Another way I can make the stability improve is it's got a hook off its center column so I can hang my bag off there as well. The center column also comes out and reverses down, so you can put your camera down there if you want to get some low to the ground shots. Uh, what else? You've got a ball head, it's got a standard fit in there at the top, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. It is a ball head, so that moves about. It's good, good smooth action, and the head rotates around 360 degrees, so if you wanted to do a panoramic. Fits my needs rather nicely. Let's talk about attaching cameras to the tripod head. Well, it comes with a pretty standard plate, which you screw into the bottom of your camera. And then that just goes into the plate there and you tighten that up. Happy days, eh? I, on the other hand, like to use an L bracket for my Z7. So that also fits, just screw that in. And of course, because it's an L bracket, I can do that, put it in vertically. Solid, no roars at all. If I tighten it up, it's solid, there we go. The other thing it also comes with is this handy little adapter, which it's got a little cold shoe mount on there. And if you flip that out like that, you can put your mobile phone in it as well. Pretty handy, eh? One of the best features of this tripod for me is the fact that I can unscrew these feet. These are just little rubber feet here. Good for most surfaces. If I unscrew that and I grab this, this metal spike, I can screw that in. I'll include a link for these in the video description below, like so. And once these are into the ground, I don't think my tripod's gonna be moving very far, no matter how windy it gets in Dartmoor. So hopefully those crashes of cameras smashing against rocks will be a thing of the past. I've been using this tripod for a few weeks now and it's seen quite a bit of action. It's already becoming an integral part of my kit bag, both as a stills camera tripod and as my vlogging tripod as well. I think it's lightweight and sturdiness is particularly useful, especially on those longer walks or when I'm going up the hills and the mountains. But it looks like that sun is just about to burst through the cloud, so it's time to take some more landscape photographs. 
just getting ready to take my first shot. I've got my tripod set up. As you can see, I've got the center column up. And even though I've got the camera in the vertical orientation, I'm no problem about stability. I've got my super spiky feet in. So they're firmly stuck in the ground. This tripod is not going anywhere. And the reason I've got the column up and got the camera in a vertical orientation is to get most of these foreground rocks as it leads along this kind of curvy tour there. Some fascinating shapes. It just, it blows my mind sometimes when I come up to Dartmoor and I come with somewhere new like this that I've never been before. Every tour is unique. It's got its own set of different shapes and rock formations. It just blows my mind sometimes. Anyway, that leads out to the rest of the tour and then out to the landscape. And I can see for miles tonight, the visibility is superb. And I've got a bit of color coming in the sky. That sun, oh, it's moments away from, from dropping down. And that's hopefully going to illuminate some of these heavier clouds. It's just, I've got all the cameras set up, focused, ready to go. Just need to wait for that light. Ah, oh, so exciting sometimes. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, along with my Z7, I'm using my 24 to 200 Z mount lens. I've done a video review for that. So if you want to see that, I'm popping a link for that up in the corner of the screen. But the reason I bring it up is that this kind of is a versatile lens, which is great for days out and the mall like this, I mean, it was like a two and a half, three mile walk to get up to this particular tour. So when I'm using this kind of setup where I can go away with just a single lens and a lightweight carbon tripod, it's a really good setup for doing these long walks. Come on, sun. Here we go. The sun is just dipping below the horizon and I can see the golden light. It's going all across the landscape. Even if I just get one shot tonight, I think it's going to be a good one. Fantastic. Wow, what a busy five or 10 minutes that was. The light was everywhere. It's just, sometimes you just get these moments where you just get this really small gap and you just have to run about picking out compositions, taking your photographs. Great with a tripod because it's nice and lightweight. I was just able to pick it up, run along to the next location, stick the spikes in and get shooting pretty quickly. But you know, the sun's not quite below the horizon yet, but the, the good quality light from the landscape's gone. So it's times like this, just put the camera away, I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna watch that sunset. See you next time. <laughs>